I just got the package. Let's go home and unbox it. Hey guys, a very good evening from Hyderabad. It's almost uh, sunset and uh, it is super exciting today. <laughs> because I just ordered a uh, home theater projector for myself. So I, I placed the order in the morning today. Uh, I, I went to the showroom here in uh, uh, Gachipoli uh, and uh, I placed the order. And I think they're coming to deliver it uh, at my home. But I said that just come till uh, the entrance of my uh, location, you know, and I would go and pick it up. So I'm super excited for seeing the projector. So we'll unbox it together and unbox it together. Uh, but I will be uploading this probably after after March 30th. So March 30th is my wife's birthday. So she doesn't know that I've ordered this. So it's a small kind of a surprise. She's not a big fan of the projector anyway. So I, I have I have something else in mind as a gift for her. But there is small part of the projector in her birthday unveiling. You know. So I planned it. I planned it in a different way. So I, I was uh, I was kind of uh, researching about projectors for quite some time because I wanted one. Uh, you know that people are working from home now nowadays, and and we are getting to see a lot of uh, uh, you know movies and series on OTT. And watching it sitting in the hall is becoming a little cumbersome because see we have a used TV, but again uh, it turns out that in the summer the heat just ramps up, and then. Uh, and then you you can't put it at full volume because the kid the kid is sleeping, all right. So there are all these things. So even though I'm I'm placed the projector in the bedroom, uh, we'll be using Bluetooth to uh, listen to uh, the audio and then video would be the projector. So that has been really cinematic experience because we we do that right now, right? We we watch the movies or the or the series on OTT on a, on a single phone and we share the Bluetooth. Uh, generally, even Bluetooth 5.0, you can connect more than two Bluetooth at the same time. Correct. So that's how it works. So this is this is a very standard projector uh, in the sense like many people have really bought it the most affordable uh, price effective projector that you can buy a full HD projector and it, it also supports 3D and that is amazing you know it supports 3D that is amazing so I wanted a DLP projector uh, not the LC3 LCD one uh, so the DLP projector really gives it the theater kind of an effect when you watch it in your home right the LCD is again like again like your uh, normal TV that you see. Uh, so I, I I zeroed in on BenQ TH585 compared to the Optomas. Uh, there are they ha, there are talks that optimize a little better. Uh, but when I was doing some research online, I found that both of these BenQ and Optoma are Taiwanese companies. But again, Optoma, I think it has moved to China recently. I think someone has bought it from China or or is it manufactured in China? I'm not sure. But that is something something of a Chinese legacy, and I don't want that. But again, Optoma has a very good uh, review model in the market. But the only problem here in India is with its service. So I think it will take a lot of time for it to service if you have an issue. So that's the reason I didn't go with the Optoma. And, and also, most of the suppliers, uh, no matter where you go, they'll push you to buy an Optoma instead of a BenQ projector. Correct. The reason being, I think I think Optoma gives a lot of uh, margin when compared to that of uh, BenQ. So I think I think with BenQ, when the when you buy a BenQ projector from someone, they get get around nine to ten percent of an benefit but when but when you're buying an optima they get close to 18 to 20 percent of the benefit you know the profit so they try to push you to it and don't go into that so they are also good projectors but i think benq in hyderabad they have a huge service center have i have any problem i can directly hop in there uh, the bulbs are uh, not much expensive you can get it here you know the service is easier for me and, and also it is a tried and tested product from pretty long time so i think i think that is a really major uh, major major plus for me all right, and it has it has a good contrast ratio, decent. I will not say that it is one of the best. And the reason for me choosing full HD projector is, see, even though if you are having a 4K projector, if you are sitting really very close to it, you won't find the minute details in it, right? And if you go to a theater, you would really want to have that theater experience, and that you you'll only get in a full HD. You know, it should not be too crisp. It should not be too blur. You are getting a point. So that is that is the fun of having a movie like experience. Here it is, I just got the package. Let's go home and unbox it. Okay, welcome back guys, I'm back at home. So I did a lot of talking on the way back, but it got super dark, so it didn't get recorded properly. 
I'm just going to tell you what the thoughts are in the, in the package is sitting right here. Uh, <coughs> so just talking about, uh, so this is a full HD projector. It also supports 3D because it's in DLP. So you need to have this active shutter glasses. A little expensive side, but I think that is, that is really worth for a 3D watch. And uh, <coughs> the reason I went for with BenQ was due to service support. I think it is really, it is it is really uh, all over the place. I think every city, everywhere you have a BenQ service center, you can you yourself can go and get it. But for Optoma, I think I think the, the picture quality is a little better than this. But after sales is a really big question mark. You can see it online as well. And the biggest biggest question that I want to make is point around what to make is never ever buy any gadget online right no matter what it is i i never bought any of my gadgets online till date probably small dongle sell on memory cards perfectly fine i didn't even buy those but never ever buy this specifically the benq project right don't buy that you get it for an retail price of 63000 or 65000 in amazon don't buy those so as per one of my friend who is also a retailer he said that most of the projectors that are being sold in the, um, in, on Amazon from BenQ, they are kind of a little refurbished, you know. So the projectors that are having a little defect, defect, they're selling it online. They'll work properly. Hopefully they'll work properly. Sometimes they might not work properly or they might break, break down in a week or two. And you won't get warranty on those, for sure. And I was, I was a little skeptical about this, but again, when I went through the comments on Amazon, it is true that no one is getting a warranty on those products. So you have to again shell out money from my pocket. So I know it's a little hassle going out and getting a product, but I would highly, highly recommend go outside, buy your gadgets on your own terms. You know, even if it costs you a thousand or two thousand bucks more, it is always safe to go and buy your own product. There have been also issues that people are sending stones in instead of an iPhone or you know, those are all true stuff. And I have seen myself that the Amazon people, they park uh, inside of the road and they start opening the boxes and see what is there in it. What, what, what job do they have, right? So this has happened to me most of the time. So probably there are some things that you can buy from online that's perfectly fine, but gadgets, a big no, don't, never do that. So coming to the projector, uh, 4K is not required to be really frank. Uh, you have a, such a big screen TV like this and that should be sufficient for you. This is 1000 nits brightness. The project, the projector doesn't go that bright. It goes around 100 to 150 minutes maximum that in the dark room. So you need to. Uh, so it doesn't make sense because it's not that bright, right? 4K doesn't make really sense. And, and also 4K projectors are more than three lakhs, you know, in Indian rupees. And and there are there are and the they say true 4K is more than three lakhs. And uh, there are UHD, ultra HD projectors. So they are they are enhanced version of the HD, but they are not true 4K. So the, you can get those at one and a half lakh, but that doesn't make point, right? Either you go with a full HD or you go with the 4K. There's no point you go in the beach wall or stuff. So that's about the project, guys. So this was my research on what I did and why I bought this. So I'm really excited to open this and set this up. So as a setup, I'll probably give it in another video. Now let's go into the box and box. The box, guys. So this is what it says: brand up with Vivid Entertainment. This is BenQ digital projector. And the big plus point of this projector is that they give you an Amazon Fire Stick for free and that is really amazing because generally see uh, nowadays I think people have stopped watching TV a lot uh, everyone is on the OTT so this is this is a really good add-on uh, I was planning of getting this but again they're giving it free with this so there's nothing much better than this right so this model is TH585 and it has an Amazon Fire TV Stick for full HD that is more than enough because there's a lot of content on 4K but also it depends on your bandwidth if your bandwidth is not that much it will anyways play in full HD right so this was manufactured in December 2021 I'm okay with that just two months so this is a fully sealed piece if you can see right it, ha it is wrapped the wrap is also not yet open I need to open that wrap right so that is something so online they have been a lot of problems with this so do not buy it on online there's two HDMI's it has a keystone uh, basically right uh, but this keystone is not uh, is again manual it is not, not automatic it has 3d support that is really awesome because i have a blu-ray player over there and i have a few blu-ray dvds and also i can download movies online and i can watch that is something good right uh, it has a speaker probably i don't need that uh, the the lamp the lamp mode it will give you around 3000 3000 to 4000 hours of lamp life but if you go on lamp save mode it might give you around 15000 so probably take it around 9 to 10000 hours right and if you're if you're uh, using your projector in the dark then obviously you can use it in the same mode and you can save a lot of hours right and it in it three 
थ्री थर्टी टू सेंटीमीटर्स आई थिंक यू कैन गेट हंड्रेड इंच ऑफ स्क्रीन सो दैट इज रियली ग्रेट राइट आई रियली डोंट वॉन्ट शॉर्ट शॉर्ट थोड़ा प्रोडक्ट आज बिकॉज माई रूम इज सुपर लार्ज कल जस्ट कट दिस आउट एंड कम बैक ओके सो दिस इज आउट ऑफ इट्स बॉक्स आई थिंक यू कैन सी क्लियरली इट इज हेज कम विथ अ फ्री एमेजॉन फायर टेक टी वी स्टेक आई थिंक दिस इज द बेस्ट डील यू कैन गेट राइट सो यूर गेटिंग यू एन ए फायर स्टेक यूर गेटिंग ए रियली ग्रेट प्रोजेक्ट एट दिस प्राइस सो आई थिंक आई थिंक आई थिंक दिस इज रियली ग्रेट स्टाफ You don't have to invest extra for anything else, and 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 most people I don't think will be connecting their TVs to this as well. So I think it's okay. But this comes with a handle that's good, and here is a super cute projector, man. I really kind of love the packaging. Let us remove it one by one. Okay, so this is a power cable. This is a Fire Stick. So I never thought I would I would actually get in Fire Stick because generally if you see I have a smart TV and mostly what happens is my smart TV it has it's it has stopped to get updates. So this is an 55 inch Samsung Q LED curved smart TV, right? And for some reason it has stopped to it has stopped to get more updates on its app. So my Hotstar sucks on that. And now YouTube is starting to slow down. So I I think I don't think it's getting any updates on that. so i think it is it is better to invest in something like this but because this is a product specifically for a smart uh, device and this would this would be getting updates eventually right so that is a very good thing to you will get a lot of uh, third party chinese sticks also but don't go to that because they are not authorized from google so they will not be having netflix and and a couple of other apps so the, the you will not ca you, can, you cannot play this movies in full hd or even for 4k or not even in full hd also they will only play in 720p or 480p so go only with the branded ones like these okay so now the projector itself and this is the remote uber cool remote and finally i think the projector perfect so this is this is how it looks like okay i'll just remove and this piece I'm really careful with my gadgets. So I really take them very take really good care of them. Wow. Feels amazing guys. It just feels premium. Yeah. So have a look at this. So this is the BenQ projector. Oh, the texture is really awesome. It really looks so premium, such quality. All right, so it written 1080p. I don't think there's any branding of the uh model number anywhere but if you can see this is what it is the dlp texas so dlp is nothing but an technology by a company called as texas instruments in the us so they are they really advanced technology for this video for this projectors and they only authorized to build this so this is a costly chip that's the reason dlp projectors are expensive and also they make for a really good uh, watching experience so there is a i think there is a the speakers here and here is a fan So these are the ports behind uh, the projector. So the first one is the audio in and out. Uh, so you know there is uh, basically this for the audio, and then the HD. There are two HDMI ports, and one is with the MHL. So that means that you can directly mirror your device uh, using this port, and it will also charge your device as well. And there is one USB, and I think it will also charge your. So basically, you can use this for charging any of your Fire Stick or something, right? As you can see, there is a 1.5 ampere. or put off it and there here here are some really basic legacy ports the pc and the monitor also i don't think anyone is using these anyways now but i think they gave it right and there's a power cord here and the finally this is rs232 port so this is something that uh, the engineers would use to debug an issue in this so to so the that port so this is a serial port the debuggers will start to use this right so this is what i said and and here on the top you have the power temperature light buttons so these are all pretty pretty uh, basic stuff right menu and all i, I think i'll i'll explore uh, more of these the focus zoom and all in in a detailed setup video and then when i'll try to uh, set it up I'll, i'll probably give a more detailed video on this so that's about it about the unboxing guys uh, so there are i was while while doing this research uh, 
I, I actually really want this projector as a as a temporary projector because I want to put it on a tripod and on a, on the wall or probably on a temporary screen on the weekends with the family, but nothing permanent. So that's the reason I, I went with this. This is a really good projector. I also did some research on some Chinese products that they were selling online. They come as low as five thousand rupees to as expensive as forty to fifty thousand rupees or or a lakh also, right? But beware, do not go for them. I know they are cheap, uh, but there are many, many, many people online who have purchased projectors for twenty-five thousand, thirty thousand rupees, and within one month they stopped working and there's no support, no service. That they didn't know what to do and they had to trash it out, right? Instead of for thirty-one thousand rupees, you get a brand projector, you get really what you want. Uh, you get a quality, you get service, everything. So you, ha- you know that you have made a lifelong investment with this, right? And and I think recently there was a war between two two YouTubers also on these Chinese projectors, and uh, it was really funny, man. Because first of all, they're Chinese; they're not supposed to work, and you guys are fighting over it, saying that who is correct, right? And that 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 didn't make really much sense to me. So that's about the unboxing, guys. So I'll I'll set this up. I'll try to shoot that as well. I'll set it up. I'll try to shoot that as well, and probably then we can talk more on the setup, and then I'll give you a review later. Okay? I'm super excited to use this one. Hope you guys like this. If you have any comments, anything, please do comment below. My name is Dharmesh. I'm signing off. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Bye.